The front paddock area on Metal Lane's Pace Night 2003, bustling with activity. Which of the 10 will join that list of great pace winners? In the Metal Lane's Pace, here is the field. What an artist has intimidating speed, coupled with Armbro Animate, he can fire out. John Campbell teaming with his brother Jim here. Yankee Cruiser needed to acclimate. All-American Theory can leave like a rocket. Mike Lachance. And Boulder Creek has a tough streak here. A long shot with Mike Saftik. What will he do from post 10? And they're off, and Armbro Animate from mid-pack heads out for the lead. All-American Theory leaves a bit from the outside. The Globe is right there on the inside, racing in third. And what an artist floats out of there. He's fourth, right to his inside is Yankee Cruiser. No pan intended, takes an early tuck. Sixth on the inside, then Dreamwave is seventh. Eighth and gap slightly, Mount Vernon Hanover. Quarter Carrot is caught wide around the turn in ninth, and Boulder Creek at the back of the pack trails the field. All-American Theory working his way to the lead, and he clears Armbro Animate the quarter in 27 seconds flat and Brian Sears makes his move right now with what an artist on the outside and what an artist is coming up on the outside and he takes the lead from All-American Theory who will yield for the pocket spot in second. Armbro Animate is racing in third. Yankee Cruiser is starting up first over there on the outside. The Globe to his inside races in fifth. No pan intended is second over. Dreamwave is in the flow. Boulder Creek up the rail. Mount Vernon Hanover struggling. He's gapped out ninth and quarter carrot was forced wide and took back behind him in 10th. The half and 54 seconds flat. Identical 27 second quarters so far. And what an artist controls the pace with three eights to go. All American Theory is a length and a half back from him in the pocket there, racing in second. Yankee Cruiser is grinding closer first over. He's about three lengths from the lead. Armbro Animate locked in, no pan intended. Flips out three wide as they come to the top of the stretch. Three quarters and 122 flat. And it's what an artist looking to sprint for home and he's two lengths in front with an eighth of a mile to come. All-American Theory is coming to him, though. All-American Theory is taking the lead. Armbro Animate up on the outside. What an artist fading to third. It's Mike Lachance and All-American Theory, and they lead it by three as they come to the finish. All-American Theory wins the Meadowlands pace. Armbro Animate with second, Dreamwave third and third. What an artist comes up empty in the stretch here for Brian Sears, and it's the pocket rocket exploding all American theory, reminiscent here of 1988 when Lachance romped with Matt Scooter. He opens up on the lead. That's John Campbell with Armbro Animate. He's going to rally for second, and from a tough spot here, long shot Dream Wave with Jim Morrill Jr. rocking and rolling the, in the bike. It's third here as a. Uh, the winner, All-American Theory, becomes the first unraced two-year-old to win the pace. A serious foot infection sidelined him as a freshman. Tonight, he matches his 149 and three mark taken in the North America Cup Final. Ontario Farman Desmond Takpour, you, you saw him there jumping up and down, a jubilant in the winner's circle, ignited this colt with Lasix recently. Jenna's Beach Boy never made the pace due to an injury, and now he has a siring credit. Mike Lachance, second the last two years, picks up the ultimate catch drive here, and Bob Hayden had the winner's reaction. Never drove All American Theory before. What did you know scoring down tonight? Well, I know I, I raced against him enough uh, to know that, uh, and I watch him race. And I know that he's very handy, and uh, the colt is super sharp right now. He's got his confidence, and uh, a winning horse it's always like uh, tough to beat. And uh, he's so handy, like I said, and he's got uh, quick speed behind the gate. And I got lucky to wind up in a two all and I just had a perfect trip. But uh, when I tip him top of the stretch there, he, he, he was digging in and he went by like, a, like he could have gone another quarter of a mile. 122 to the three quarters for what an artist. Tell us what you were thinking at that point because you hadn't been behind him before. Well, uh, I thought I was in a good spot to, to be second, uh, but uh, when I saw that Brian uh, reached with the whip and uh, uh, over his back and he didn't respond that great, so uh, you know, like then <laughs> made me feel a little better. All American Theory is a he's a difficult horse to manage in the sense of he likes to do things. He likes to do his own thing. I just thought being home in his own environment for the type of character that he has would have been more beneficial to us as opposed to 
you know, detrimental. It, it was, I know a lot of guys, a lot of people question me going back home. But like I said, he, he was in his own stall. He was in his own paddock. The other horses that I have in the barn, he knows who they are. And uh, that was my decision. I, I made it. I stuck by it. And, you know, fortunately, it worked out for us.